everybody. Doreen from Door Designs. How are ya? I'm a little late taping today, but we're going to get through it. I have grandkids all this week and next week, so my days are a little bit uh, preoccupied. And today we got to spend the day at a good friend's house uh, enjoying their pool. So today was a good day, but now I'm back home and ready to do some designs. So a lot of you have asked me if I have started decorating for fall. I have not. I have not had the chance, um, but I am going to start uh, hopefully next week. So I'll be doing some videos, some live videos of, of the house and stuff like that. Um, when I start to decorate, what I typically do is kind of figure out where I want my centerpieces or designs to go. I decorate those first and then I kind of fill in around it. So on today's video, I'm going to do uh, two, possibly three different bases uh, that I know where I'm going to put them or pretty much know. This one's either going to go in my dining room centerpiece table, part of my tablescape or in our Four Seasons room. This pot came from Dollar General. I got it last year. Um, it's about 13 inches tall. It's got a nice probably four or five inches across so I can really make a nice full um, centerpiece. That being said, I'm also going to leave it pretty airy and open. Um, that's just kind of the way I like my stuff, but you can make it as full as you want. So what I did is I just put some paper about a third of the way up. You can use trash bags, Walmart bags, whatever you have, and just kind of fill it in if you don't want it, your stems to go this long. I am going to keep my stems long, but I'm going to bring them up about a third of the way, probably about where this changes colors. Um, and I'm going to do all fall colors, but I'm going to put some pops of coloring, you know how I do that. And I'm also going to show you some different ways um, if you want to add a bow. So I'm going to jump right in. The first stem I'm going to use are these long stems that I got at Hobby Lobby. And I love them for the exact reason I just said, they're light. They're airy, you can bend them. It's got beautiful oranges, burnt orange. It's got all the different uh, greens. So I'm gonna probably use three of these because where these are gonna go, you're gonna see them from all sides. So I stick my stems where the paper is right next to the ceramic. And that's gonna kind of hold them in place. You could use styrofoam if you wanted. But since I'm not shipping these or doing anything with these besides just sitting upstairs, I'm not going to go to the expense of using my styrofoam. So I'm just going to put all three of these in and then we're going to kind of move them around and arrange them based on uh, the height and stuff that I want. These are great to put in wreaths too. Okay, we got our first three stems in and we're gonna be rearranging those. So the second one also came from Hobby Lobby and it's this nice big one and it's got, um, I'm gonna move this aside. It's what's so nice about this is you can cut it apart and it's got eight different little stems that you can use on smaller centerpieces if you wanna cut them off and put them in wreaths, which I do all the time. Um, but for this design, I'm gonna keep it all together and I'm gonna kinda of stick that right down the middle. So let's, and you're gonna say, voila, it looks pretty already just with these two different textures in it. Hey, look how nice and full that is. You could stop here and have a beautiful centerpiece in your tablescape. But we're not, we're gonna keep on going. Okay, the next thing stem I'm gonna use is actually, I think I'm just gonna use one. And it is a stem that came from Hobby Lobby. Almost all of these came from Hobby Lobby. And it's got the little, um, acorns on the end of it and it's also going to go right down the center and I'm going to leave it a little bit taller and I'm going to kind of move some of these acorns in through my stems here so you may not be able to see them on the video but when I take pictures you'll be able to see them so I don't know if you can see that but there's one right there sticking out. There's one right there. Okay, look how nice and full this looks and I'll hold it back. It's still nice and airy. 
Now, if I was having people over, and this is in the center of my centerpiece, I would take this off my table uh, when we sat down to eat or entertain, only because I don't like vision's block when you've got somebody sitting across from you. But this is so nice and light that you can remove it really quick. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do, I had three of these left over, which I'm gonna use here. And it came off of a stem and it's just got some little flowers on it that are orange and yellow with kind of a dark center. So I'm just gonna stick them in and I've got three just to kind of give us a little more added look to it. I think I lost one of my acorns somewhere. Okay, so we've added that in. Now how easy is this to arrange? Okay, now I've got this solid line that goes along the top of my vase, which I don't like. I'm not gonna, at least I don't think I'm gonna put a bow on this. I think I'm just gonna leave it all um, kind of natural and stuff, but I do want to soften this look. So I have got some, I got these at Randolph Mercantile last year, but they're just a nice soft and they've got a lot of movement to it, but see how it's kind of that dark, deep wine color? So that's going to be an added color to kind of break up all of the oranges and greens. And this wine color is kind of the colors that are in some of the, um, acorns kind of on the end. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stick these down in there. I'm gonna kind of pull it down and then I'm gonna use a bright lime green that brings out some of the green in my leaves. So I'm gonna put these kind of along the base and this is getting nice and full. I'm not gluing any of it. It'll all just pretty much stay there. And like I said, I use this base year round. So all I'm doing is just kind of going around. Put a couple more in over here. Whoops, I need a green one. And when you're designing yours, you can use any flowers or stems. Okay, look how nice and pretty that looks. I'm gonna bend a few of these up a little bit. So when I get all of my centerpieces done, a lot of these are gonna go in long wooden boxes and or I'll have some uh, table runners or scarves uh, going down them, throws. So I'll be doing a video on that. So I'm gonna move this aside real quick and I wanna kinda look at some ribbon. So I need to move this up just a little bit. Looks good. Okay, for me, I'm not gonna use a bow, but I do wanna show you a bow I can find where I put my, here it is, ribbon. Well, I'm looking for my other ribbon I wanted to use. Oh, I dropped it, hang on real quick. Here it is. Okay, I'm gonna do a bow with this kind of open uh, weave to the ribbon because I wanna keep it nice and airy. So let's just do a nice, simple little bow here. Uh, this came from, I think Hobby Lobby too. Yes, this came from Hobby Lobby. And I actually think they carry it almost year round. And I'm just gonna make some loops. And I'm probably just gonna make three loops
And even though I'm not going to use this in my design, I'll use this bow somewhere before this decorating is done. I'm going to add two loops of this color. It's just a taupe with a little bit of orange and yellow going through it. I'm grabbing a zip tie and then one of my stems off of my bushes here. I save those because they're so easy to um, stick down in center pieces. I'm going to back up one step. I'm going to add one more solid ribbon on top. It's going to be a velvet. And it's going to be a purple. And this purple is going to bring out that dark kind of wine color that I used as a filler along the bottom. And all I'm going to do is bend the end of this in a hook, hopefully, and it's going to go right down through my zip tie. And then I'll pull that nice and tight. Nice and short. Okay, I'm going to stick this in the bow or the base here, and then I'll turn it back around. I gotta turn this just for a second so I can fix the bow so I can show you real quick. I don't know, the bow looks kind of cute in it. Um, when I'm designing, I don't like to have all the same colors and that's why I threw in this pop of purple. And there you have it with the bow on it. I don't know, I kind of like it with the bow. Now that I've got the bow in there, I'm gonna cut this a little shorter. We're gonna cut this a little shorter. Okay, look how quick and easy that was to do this really full centerpiece. And all we took was plain stems that I got from Hobby Lobby, 
put it in the arrangement and you just fill it out and put it as full as you want. Now, if you wanted to, to kind of add another color, you know what's coming next. We've got this blue, or we have my old time favorite, lavender. So let's just show you real quick the blue. I think I have two of these left, so we're gonna use two. And these are from Hobby Lobby. Okay, look how the blue adds to it. It gives it more depth, you've got more to look at, and it's not all just the greens and the oranges. And if you didn't like the blue, which I do like the blue, we can put in some lavender. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut some of this up because I'm using this for another design. Let's just put a couple of pieces of the lavender in it. So that way you can kind of get a different feel of the different colors. I'm taking off the leaf because I don't like it. Put some in back. Okay, the lavender looks really pretty with the purple that's in the bow. So I'm hoping you can see the lavender in there. And like I said, when I take pictures, you'll be able to see it. So we did this centerpiece in about 16 minutes. So there's that one. We'll leave it back over here. I think I am gonna leave, leave the bow in it now, now that I see it. So let's go with the second one. This one's pretty much gonna be about the same way. We're just gonna use some nice big leaves. Now these I'm gonna to have to cut down because they're way too tall. If you don't wanna cut them, you can bend them. So we can do that. And to me, that's still gonna to be too tall. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these down. Yep, much better. And I'm gonna use two of these, Hobby Lobby, and I buy everything when it's 40% off. And just kind of go through and touch each of the little branches and start spreading them apart so they're not all stuck together. And I'm gonna pull some of them out to the side here. This is my next one. Now this, this branch came from um, uh, Randolph Mercantile. Just cutting these at a little bit different heights. Okay, look how pretty it just looks just like that. Just simple, easy.
I'm going to cut a few shorter ones to kind of fill it in closer to the top of the vase. I'm going to pull some forward. I am going to put the blue in this one. Okay, I'm gonna take a piece of this and it's gonna go in the middle, even though I have all the other pieces of it kind of going along the edge, I wanna kind of tie this in in my actual design up at the top too. So I'm just gonna stick a nice piece right there in the middle. And I'm just gonna kind of spread it out. And then I have some more of this, but it's in a darker green. So I'm just gonna add a few pieces in. Boys are running around, so I hope you can't hear them tromping through the house. Okay, I'm just kind of spreading it out, turning my vase all the way around. I missed an orange tag. And I've got two of these oops, pumpkins. I'm gonna stick those in. Okay, this one only took us about 10 minutes. And look how nice, look how it's got movement, it's airy, it's full, it's got different colors from the deep oranges to the lighter, almost kind of a butterscotch color. And then we really popped it with this deep blue. Now you could do a bow if you wanted. So let's do... I think I'm going to do this plaid. And it's going to be a very simple bow. I think I'm just going to do the one ribbon.
we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna zip tie it. I'm gonna take my little stem, bend it just like a shepherd's hook. And zip tie it in. Let me make our ends pretty here. Just gonna dovetail those. And with this neutral of colors, even though I've got the dark navy blue flowers in there, you could use a ton of different colors of ribbon. And this ribbon actually is kind of a moss green and it's got a burgundy in it that kind of goes with the burgundies in those stems. So there it is with a bow on it. Okay, there are the two designs. Let me get this out of your way. I was gonna do three, but if I get over 30 minutes, it takes forever for this vid these videos to upload. So I'm just gonna stick with the two. And like I said, what I'll be doing next is I'll actually be setting up my tablescapes on my tables, and that way you can see what I'm gonna be putting around them. So there's the first or second one. And here is the first one that we did. So I just kind of wanted to show you guys how easy it is to buy some simple vases or you probably have them in your own home. Just get you some stems. It doesn't matter which stems and just start filling them in. Keep them at different heights and different fullness. And like I said, if you want yours to be thicker, just keep adding more stems to them. I like mine light and I like movement and I like them nice and airy. So I hope you enjoyed that. Stay tuned for the centerpiece tablescapes. I hope you guys will enjoy those. Have a great uh, weekend. I don't know if I'll do a video or not tomorrow since I got the little ones here, um, but I'll see what I can get done. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.